Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 22nd, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. Today was a day of questionable weather. When I got out in the morning, it was overcast with a light southerly wind, and it stayed that way throughout the morning with occasional rain showers. As we got into the early afternoon, the wind began to shift a little more southwest, and then around 1 p.m. we had the cold front hit that brought rain showers with it and a shift to strong to very strong westerly winds and it rained for a while and then as the temperature fell it changed to snow and then as we got after four o'clock it actually started to clear up and i went back out for a little bit here's a raptor that tried to sneak past low in the morning we see a long tail and we see long skinny wings and perhaps most distinctively we see a white rump patch this is a northern harrier Here's a song sparrow that perched up nicely and sang for me. Here we have two hawks with long tails shaped like flying crosses. So we should be thinking the former Exhibitor genus, so either sharp-shinned, coopers, or goshawk. Looking at these two birds, they seem to be the same size and shape overall, so it's safe to assume that they're both the same species. And we see a long tail, and on the bird on the left, you can sort of tell that the outer tail feathers are a little bit shorter as they tuck underneath. We see large heads, we see uh, wings held out very straight. These are both Cooper's hawks. And the bird on the left is an adult. We see that orange barring underneath. And the bird on the right is a juvenile. We see that brown streaking to the upper breast. Here we have a hawk with kind of a medium long tail. We see an orange plumage to the underside of the body and the wing coverts and black and white patterning to the wings and tail. This is an adult red-shouldered hawk. Here we have another hawk with a long tail, but this one isn't as lanky looking as those Cooper's hawks, just a little bit more compact looking. We see a very squared off tip to the tail. We see a little bit of bulging secondaries to the wings and a small head. This is a sharp-shinned hawk. Here's a species we're becoming very familiar with as we enter the peak time. We see large, overall dark raptors, but more of a lighter colored trailing edge to the wings. And we see very small featherless heads, but a fairly long tail. These are turkey vultures. Here we have a hawk with a very distinctive belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk. And we see the bold trailing edge to the wings. And you can't really tell the color that well here, but the tail would be red, making it an adult. Here we have a hawk with a medium long tail, but somewhat bulky of a bird. We see brown streaking to the underside of the breast, not really a distinctive belly band, but streaking that starts all the way at the upper breast. Looking at the wingtips, we see very blunt wingtips, and we can just make out some translucent crescents near the wingtips. This is a juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Here we have a large dark raptor high overhead. We don't have that extremely small head that we would see on a vulture, so we can assume that this is an eagle, but the head is relatively small for an eagle and the wings have a nice curve to them and they pinch in near the body on the trailing edge here. This is a golden eagle. See if you can figure out what this one is. Again, we have a hawk with a nice belly band and we have dark patagio bars telling us that this is a red-tailed hawk. And how about this one? We see a long tail and we can see the outer tail feathers are a little bit shorter than the central tail feathers. Relatively large head, kind of a big mean looking bird with orange barring underneath. This is an adult Cooper's hawk. And how about this bird? We have an eagle that's all dark underneath, relatively small head. This is another golden eagle, probably an adult. Many of those raptors I just showed you were part of the push ahead of the oncoming front. And then looking behind them, here came the turkey vultures. The winds hadn't changed where I was yet, but I knew those vultures were riding the oncoming cold front. And as I scanned across out in front, I counted at one point about 300 turkey vultures. About 200 streamed overhead, and then a bunch went more inland. And I lost them behind this tree line, but then they popped back out behind me. And that's when I took this photo, which there's probably about 100 in this photo alone. And altogether, in that big push that came through, there were around 650 turkey vultures. Once that big group of vultures had passed, the wind shifted more westerly and strengthened, and there were rain showers. So I stayed out for a little while and then came back to the safety of the house. And it actually rained pretty good for a little while, and then as the temperature dropped, Following that cold front, it changed to snow, so it was pretty miserable outside for a little while. But by the late afternoon, it was actually clearing up really nicely, so I did go back out. 
I went to the south lookout since the winds had shifted slightly west-northwest, and I picked up some more turkey vultures and a northern harrier, but I didn't stay out very long. I had 48 species today, but none of them were new for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 764 turkey vultures, one bald eagle, four northern harriers, six sharp-shinned hawks and six cooper's hawks, 20 red-shouldered hawks, nine red-tailed hawks, one dark rough-legged hawk, two golden eagles, and for falcons we had two American kestrels and one merlin, for a total of 816 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 8,788. Taking a look at the forecast, tomorrow is looking like mostly sunny, maybe a few clouds in the morning, but a high of only 32, and northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it will be a day at the south lookout. I'll probably be in my car the whole day, and there probably won't be much happening besides maybe a slow trickle of turkey vultures, so very similar conditions to yesterday, and I would expect similar results. Monday is looking very similar to today with cloudiness with occasional rain showers and a high up in the mid to upper 40s and winds starting south and then shifting west. So there's probably another cold front coming through. So maybe we'll get another big push of birds, especially turkey vultures ahead of that cold front. And for Tuesday, it's looking cloudy with snow showers in the morning and temps in the mid 30s, strong westerly winds. So that's not looking like a terrific day. Uh, I'm not sure which lookout we'll be at. Westerly winds are a toss-up, but in any case, I wouldn't expect a ton to be migrating on Tuesday, except maybe turkey vultures. Turkey vultures will push through in almost any conditions, especially as we come into their peak period. All right, I was a little unsure going into today, but it really ended up being a pretty decent day, at least if you look at the total, keeping in mind that most of those birds came through in about 15 minutes ahead of that cold front, but there were quite a few visitors that stopped by since it was a Saturday and got to meet some new people and had some good conversations. So overall, a good day. And then with that rain and snow in the early afternoon, I had a chance to have a few hours to relax and catch up on things. So overall, a nice day. No terrific days looking up. Again, Monday is looking like the one day that might be similar to today. Just depends on how the rain showers turn out, but there are the southerly winds coming up. Otherwise, it's looking like a pretty cold week, but I'll definitely let you know when it's looking really good again. Hope you can come out soon to Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.